my pulling cable is here, okay, I attached it to my track cable with two wire clips. I only have one right now. Remember that the, the uh, U-bolt has to be on the dead end of the cable, okay, not on the live end, okay. So I'm going to tie it up. All right. All right, and I'm ready to go, okay? So you see that my, this is, uh, you don't see it on that take right now, but this is the uh, wire rope puller that goes to the tree, and I got my main cable, I'm ready to pull it. Now what I did is attach my cable on the other side, okay? Here I'm at the bottom side, uh, to my bottom tree. Okay, I have a little bit of tension on my cable. I want much more, okay? So I'm just gonna take it. All right, I got more or less the tension that I want right now. So what I wanna do is attach my cable. So I'm gonna go around the tree and back. All right. Then per first, put my first wire clip. Remember to put the U-bolt and the saddle, okay? I don't know if you see it properly, okay? The U-bolt goes on the dead end of the cable, okay? So dead end, live end. Bring this back in here. All right. Now what I'm do, what I'm doing, I'm keeping it slack. I got my ratchet here. Okay. Put it in my pocket. <clears throat> Grab as much loose as I can here. Okay. Hold it here, and then tie it up. Okay, so a good thing to do when we do that, if we want a, ca a cable that's very tight, is to grab more tension than what we actually need, okay? Because now that I am attached here, when I release the tension uh, from the wire rope puller to the main cable, I'm going to lose tension, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. So right now, this one is not too tight. It's just like safe enough. I'm gonna go back on my wire rope puller, okay? Slowly, okay? You see this cable starts being tight. We keep going a little bit more. All right, you see this one is loose and this one is tight. Now, what I wanna do to recuperate that tension I just lost, this is why I didn't put all of my wire clips right. Okay, <clears throat> let's put the U-bolt on the dead cable here, put it here, okay, you want to kind of <laughs> squish it like this, usually if you have a second person helping you, you have him to squish the cable here, so it's easier, easier to put the wire clip, okay, all right. Second bolt. All right. Whoops. <clears throat> Working with gloves, always the same with me. I drop everything. All right. Now, what you're gonna do is grab this one here, push it up, okay? So the loose I had here on that cable, just grab the loose, not everything but it helps a little bit, okay? And then I can pull it even more, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is tie it up. Always put 
the first one in the front, the second one here, so the cable here in the middle are under the same tension. Very important, okay? You tight that second one. Okay, it's not important that it's torque all the way in right now because we're not gonna use the zip line. Okay, and at this point, I can take my wire puller off, okay? And now, now I'm ready to put the middle one. Okay, so what I could do, what I could do is, uh, is put this one here, okay? Because the distance between the first one and the second and the third one here is too, too, uh, it's too much. I want less than that. So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> while my two cables here are under the same tension, I'm gonna put one right here in the middle, like I said, which should be the third one. Tie it up properly, okay? And then I can take the one here off. <clears throat> Completely off, so I can bring it back between what becomes number one, number three still, like this. <clears throat> and now I have the perfect attachment. I want to show you guys a little trick, okay? I got my zip line installed. I put the tension at the bottom. I'm right here at the top, okay? And my, my cable here, <clears throat> my cable here is attached about what? It's less than two meters here at my first tree. And my second tree is the same because I have a natural slope and my cable is following the ground, okay? So I need a lot of tension to avoid that cable to sag so people don't, you know, hit the, the, the the ground in the middle of it, okay? So what I did, because when you release the tension on your wire rope puller to put it back on the track cable, you lose some tension, okay? So what I did is attach my first, you know, I, uh, prior to putting tension, I came here, attached my, to my top tree with only one wire clips. These two here are totally loose, okay? So right now, if I want to grab more tension on my cable, I'm just gonna squeeze it and bring this one up here there you go know what I mean all right so if, so if, if I have a helper okay we could squeeze here real hard and bring this one up okay all right that's the most I can do by myself and now I can tie this one up here okay And then move my second one here, whoops, in the middle of the two, okay? All right, I'm just gonna get my bolt. I just keep saying bolt, but you know guys that I'm ta talking about the nut, okay? And then I'm gonna tight. All right, always remember, you always install the first wire clip. You put tension on the cable. You put the third one. Your second one is the third here, okay? So it's one, two, and then once the cable's here, because under tension gets under the same tension, both of them, then we don't have a weak spot, okay? And then we tight the one in the middle, okay? So right now I have this piece of cable that's falling down. I can either attach it right here, I can put some tape, okay, or I can put a wire clip so I have an anchor point here. Okay, when I set someone on the, on the zip line, I'm gonna put my pulley here, and this is gonna be my anchor point to avoid that they go down before I actually say go, okay? 
So I'm going to put a wire clip right here so I have an, a, a point of anchor. If you have a lot of cable loose uh, left over, then you can roll it over here okay, and attach it if you don't want to cut it. Remember, if you want to cut a cable, the only way is with a grinder with a zip cut. Okay, it, has, it has to be very thin. Um, you guys, I'm pretty sure you know what the zip cut is. You know, a, a, a disc put on a grinder, it's uh, about one, mil, uh, one millimeter thick. You cut it about three inches from the first wire clip and you put some tape to avoid uh, the cable to actually, you know, go back. All right. And you see I'm following the terrain the whole way. So if I would have my cable very loose, I would hit the ground at the bottom, okay? It's pretty steep, but I put a good break on it and we'll make the best of it. So that's it. It's ready to fly.